So looking at the course management aspect of finding yourself in a position where you're in a little bit of trouble, um, where there's maybe overhanging branches or you've driven the ball into the trees and you need to try and get the ball to come out nice and low. A couple of things we could look at practicing on the driving range here. Um, you know, when you practice on the range, we don't always just want to stand there hitting perfect shots off perfect lies because the reality is golf isn't played like that. You will find yourself in positions um, where you're not maybe used to going into, but you want to try and practice those shots as much as the, as the normal flat easy shots you want to try and find something that's a bit of a test for yourself as well it'll help you understand your golf swing and understand how the ball flight works and how the dynamics of your swing create the right sort of shot so let's go ahead and imagine that we've driven the ball into the trees we've now got a low overhanging branch that we need to hit the ball out underneath we've got about a hundred yards left to go into the green so normally hundred yards away you might think okay so my club selection there would be for example a wedge or a nine iron but obviously the loft on those clubs are going to hit the ball way too high straight into the branches. So we now need to think about hitting a 100 yard shot with a much lower lofted club. I'm actually going to take a 6 iron for this particular shot because 6 iron I feel would keep the ball sufficiently low enough and I can also play a nice little punch shot. It's effectively going to be played like a long chip and run or pitch and run shot. So the stance doesn't need to necessarily be as wide as it would be for a normal 6 iron shot because I don't need the full power of a 6. I'm going to bring my stance a little bit closer to Together. I'm also just going to grip down on the golf club a little bit here. That'll give me a bit more control over the club, uh, maybe not making me swing it quite so far and been able to hold the club a little bit more tightly just to get the control and the feel for the distance. So it's a little grip down there, maybe slightly nearer to the golf ball as well. And I might on this occasion open my stance slightly. We often see a lot of people when they're hitting the punch shot because the ball is going to be in the centre of the stance or even back of the stance to keep the ball flight down. If the ball is back, we then don't turn through the ball quite enough, leaving the club face open, a lot of people would hit a punch shot to the right of where they wanted to go. So we can assess that by aiming the feet a little bit down the left hand side drop the ball back in the stance, get the hands and the body weight ahead of it like a little pitch or chip shot, and then as we hit down on the golf ball, it should come out a lot lower, a lot squirtier. It's going to land, it is going to run quite a long way this one, because obviously it's not coming in high with a great deal of spin. So you can account for that with your landing area. So if I aim out this way towards this 100 yard board out here, that's going to be my target. But I'm going to go ahead and imagine and practice when I'm on the driving range that I have maybe a set of goal posts in front of me. Let's say that these are going to be the football goal posts, so only about 8 feet tall. And I want to try and get underneath the crossbar of the goal post. That's going to be my overhanging branch. So I could go ahead and imagine that I've got this overhanging branch in front of me, take the ball back in my stance, grip down, get in front of it, and then squeeze it down and try and nudge it in there the right sort of distance to go to the 100 yard board. Let's just check whether we can get this one under the crossbar and run it forward correctly. That's come out okay, it's actually come out a little bit left, but it's gone exactly the right sort of distance and it did come out low enough. So maybe on this next shot I'll just take a little bit more care and attention on my alignment and see if I can keep my hands from rotating the golf club too easily, too aggressively, try and knock one up onto that 100 yard board again. That one came out quite nicely again there, came out nice and low, running forwards, squirting forwards and running up there onto the green. So have a little practice next time you're on the range, not always playing the perfect easy flat shots, but trying to just manipulate the golf ball a little bit, play it higher than normal, play it lower than normal. Then when you find yourself in a position on the golf course, you'll have a little bit more of an answer and a bit more of a feel for how you can go ahead and play that shot to get it out of trouble.